ओके स्टूडेंट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद टुडे इज पास वे पेज फॉर ओ लेवल एंड आई जी सी एस सी एट चैप्टर फॉर टुडे इज स्टार्टिक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एम सी क्यूज ऑफ स्टार्टिक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट एम सी क्यू इन एन इलेक्ट्रोस्टार्टिक एक्सपेरिमेंट अ प्लास्टिक रॉड इज रब्ड विद अ क्लॉथ ओके द क्लॉथ बिकम्स नेगेटिवली चार्ज If the cloth is becoming negatively charged, the plastic rod will become positively charged. Okay, which diagram shows the charge on the rod? Okay, and describes the movement of charges. You can obviously cancel out C and D because rod will become positively charged. If one object becomes negatively charged, the other object is bound to become positively charged. Okay, and if the rod is becoming positively charged, what would have happened? electrons would have moved from the rod onto the clock i hope all you all of you might have studied in chemistry that the thing that loses electrons gets positively charged and the thing that gains electron the cloth is becoming negatively charged simple chemistry here okay let's see this the diagram shows an uncharged ball covered with metallic paint the ball is suspended from an insulating thread it is placed near a positively charged rod okay it is placed near a positively charged rod which diagram shows the charge distribution on the ball okay which diagram shows the charge distribution on the ball as you can see this ball is placed close to a positively charged rod so negative charges will move towards the right positive charges towards the left any option like that not b not a not c d is your answer let's where they move ahead two oppositely charged plastic rods are placed next to each other okay positive and negative which row describes and explain how the rods move how will the rods move they will attract towards each other and why because opposite charges attract c is your answer let's where they move ahead a plastic rod and a cloth are initially uncharged okay the rod is then rubbed with the cloth and the cloth becomes positively charged this cloth has become positively charged what will be the charge on the rod i have time and again explained to you guys that if one thing becomes positively charged the other will become negatively charged this is charging by friction this method is known by charging by friction okay the rod will be negative c and d gets cancelled out the reason why rod becomes negatively charged why will the rod become negatively charged because rod will gain electrons and cloth will lose electrons so electrons will move from the cloth towards the rod is there any answer like that a is your answer let's further move ahead which diagram shows the direction and pattern of electric field lines around a positive charge Speed lines always originate out of a positive charge. A is your answer. Let's further move ahead. See this: a positively charged plastic rod is held near, but not touching an insulated and previously uncharged metal ball. Okay, no charge leaves the plastic rod. Okay, what are the possible charges on the left hand side and the right hand side of the rod? So, if this is a positively charged rod, this left hand side will have negative charges. the right hand side will have positive charges because opposite charges attract same charges repel now let's look at the options uh option d cannot be your answer because on the left hand side we will have a negative charge also can you see this was an uncharged metal sphere in the starting this was an uncharged metal sphere in the starting this means the number of negative charges will be equal to the number of positive charges due to this logic a can also be cancelled out now remains b and c now if you have a good eye you know that charges are measured in the units of what coulombs charges are measured in the units of coulombs b has the units of what amperes c only has the correct units and the correct charges c is your answer let's further then move ahead two insulated and uncharged metal spheres x and y are touching okay a positively charged rod is held near x okay and then the spheres are moved apart okay x now has a negative charge okay all the negative charges have moved towards x what will be the charge on y the charge on y will be positive 
and same as on X. Why? Because initially both the metal spheres were uncharged. Initially both the metal spheres were uncharged when you brought a positively charged rod here. All the negative charges came inside X. All the positive charges went inside Y. The total number of negative and positive charges will be same because they were initially uncharged. This is your answer. Let's wait there, move ahead. A metal lighting conductor is placed on the top of a tall building. Okay. The conductor is connected to the earth. When a charged cloud passes over the building, the metal lighting conductor becomes positively charged. Okay, this has become positively charged. Why? Because can you see these negative charges? This has caused this to become positively charged. Where have the negative charges gone? The negative charges or electrons have gone to the ground. This is known as earthing. Let's see if we have any option like that. Electrons move downward and protons move upward. Very absurd option. You should laugh at this. Protons can never move. Only electrons move in the conductor. B is your answer. Let's see this. The diagram shows some white plastic beads in a clear plastic box. Okay, the box is shaking and the beads rub against the box. Okay, so the beads start to rub against this plastic box. The beads stick to the inside surface of the box. Okay, which row is a possible explanation for this? How can these beads stuck to the plastic block? How can these beads stuck to the plastic block? This can only happen if the box has a negative or beads have a positive charge or vice versa. If let's say the box has a positive charge, beads have a negative charge. The attraction can only happen if you have opposite charges. Let's see if we have any answer like that. Uh, box gains electrons and there is no charge on the beads. No, this cannot be your answer. Box loses electrons. That means box becomes positively charged. And beads gain electron, that means that became negatively charged. B is your correct answer. Let's further move ahead. The base of a cloud is negatively charged. The cloud is over a metal. This will become positively charged. What will happen to the electrons? The electrons will flow to the ground. These electrons or negative charges will flow to the ground. This is known as earthing. Let's see whether we have an answer like that. Uh, charge at the top of the mass, positive. Why? Because all these charges are negative. Uh, electrons move to the bottom of the mass. C is your correct answer. Let's further move ahead. An aircraft flying through air becomes electrically charged. What causes this to happen? The friction of the aircraft with the air. B is your answer. This is known as charging by friction. Whenever you are passing through air and charges develop on the body of a car of an aircraft, this is known as charging by friction. Let's see this. A metal plate X is attached to earth by a battery, okay? The metal plate has a positive charge, okay? A second metal plate Y is initially uncharged and connected to the earth. This plate is positioned parallel to X. Okay, so if this plate is initially uncharged and it is in front of this positively charged plate, these negative charges will come here. The positive charges will be here. And now due to the earthing, electrons will move towards this plate and neutralize these positive charges. Electrons will move towards this plate and neutralize these charges. So what will happen? Electrons flow to Y from Earth. B is your answer. Electrons will flow from the Earth towards the plate Y, neutralizing the plate and it will become negatively charged. Let's see this. An electric field is formed by two isolated equal and opposite charges, P and Q. So the electric field will be something like this. Like this. And obviously you can extend the lines. How does the field at X compare with the field at Y? How does the field at X compare with the field at Y? One thing that I can see right off the bat is that X is far away. And the far away you are from the field, the weaker will it be. The more far away you are from the field, the more weaker it will be. It is weaker at X, okay. A and B gets cancelled out. And it is in the opposite direction, no. It is weaker at X and it will be in the same direction because electric field does not change. Let's see this. 
A positively charged rod is held close to an insulated metal sphere. Okay. This will cause the charge separation. This will become negative. This will become positive. Okay. And then this metal sphere is also earth. So what will happen? Electrons will come here and neutralize these positive charges. So only negative charges will be left here. Okay. The earth connection is removed. Okay. And then the rod is also removed. Okay. If the rod is removed, what will happen? These negative charges will spread out like this. Any option like that? See, is your answer. Let's further move ahead. A shoe becomes positively charged by friction when it rubs against the carpet. The carpet will become negatively charged. Uh, what happens as the shoe becomes charged? Uh, negative electrons are transferred to the carpet. Yes, because carpet has become negatively charged. Shoe has become positively charged. So electrons will move away from the shoe to the carpet. Okay, let's move on to the next. Oh, ho. let's move on to the next question. Uh, oh, yeah. A polythene rod is rubbed with a cloth and the cloth becomes positively charged. Polythene rod will become negatively charged. Okay. And which statement describes the transfer of charge? Okay. Negative charges are transferred from the cloth to the polythene. Correct. Polythene becomes negatively charged, so it will gain electron. Cloth becomes positively charged, so it will lose electrons. A is your answer. Let's further move ahead. Which row correctly names an electrical conductor and an insulator? Which is a conductor here? Aluminium and iron can be. Which is an insulator? Rubber. B is your answer. Let's see this. A positively charged rod is brought near to an insulated uncharged conducting sphere. Okay. This is a positively charged rod. What will happen? X will become negatively charged. Y will become positively charged. X is negatively charged. Y is positively charged. D is your answer. Let's further move ahead. The polythene rod becomes charged when rubbed with a dry wooden cloth. This is a result of what? This is the result of friction producing a movement of electron. Why? Because this is known as charging by friction simple as that let's further move ahead a positively charged insulated metal sphere is brought close to an uncharged metal sphere this is the positively charged metal sphere this is the uncharged metal sphere which diagram shows the charge distribution on this sphere if this is positively charged negative charges will come closer positive charges will move away any options like that mm, b is your answer B will be your answer negative. Yeah, move closer. Positive move away. Yes, correct. Let's further move ahead. A positively charged rod is held close to an earth wire. Okay. This will cause the negative charges to be here. Positive charges to be here. Since this is connected to the earth wire, electrons will come towards this sphere, neutralize these positive charges. The sphere will become negatively charged. Okay. What describes the charge on the metal sphere? It is negative. There is only one option for negative. So this all will get cancelled out because electrons are attracted towards the rod. A is your correct answer. Let's further move ahead. Two metal spheres are suspended close to each other. Which diagram shows the charge distribution on the spheres and the direction of forces on the sphere? Positive, positive, attract, no. Positive, positive, away from each other and they repel. B is your correct answer. Also, C wouldn't be your option. Why? Because in C, the force direction is correct. But can you see the charges are away from each other? If they are attracting, they, they should be close to each other. Which row shows an electrical conductor and an insulator? Let's look for a conductor. A and B can be your options for conductor. Which can One can be an insulator. Rubber can be an insulator. A is your answer. Let's see this. A metal sphere is connected to earth. Okay. A positively charged rod approaches the sphere and stops before touching it. Okay. This will cause this to become negatively charged. This will become positively charged. Since it is connected to earth, electrons will neutralize all the positive charges like this. The metal sphere will become negative. There are two options for negative. Let's see. Negative charges move from the earth to the sphere yeah this could be my option a let's further move ahead 
which diagram shows the distribution of charges and the forces acting on the sphere correctly this is a replica of a question that we have just did positive and negative repel away no positive and negative attract and can you see the charge distribution this should have been the charge distribution earlier as well this should have been the charge distribution in the earlier question as well let's further move ahead a metal conductor is connected between positive and negative terminals of a battery which row shows the direction of movement of the particles that flow in the conductor and their name uh, so protons wouldn't flow this will get cancelled out electrons flow but B will also not be the answer because electrons flow from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. Always remember electrons flow from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. Please, please, please remember this. This is very basic common sense. Uh, object X is stationary and positively charged. Okay, this is positively charged. It experiences a force due to f uh, field produced by object Y. We know object Y is also positively charged. Why? Because field lines are going away from uh, object Y. What will be the force on X? If this is positive, this is positive, it will repel this charge. It will repel this charge. It will be towards the right. So there are two options for right. And it will be because of an electric field. So A is your answer. Obviously, I don't know why magnetic field option was given here. Some MCQs options are very absurd. Which diagram shows the electric field around an isolated positive charge? Uh, not A, not C, not D. B is your answer. Field lines originate away from the positive charge. So this marks the end of a static electricity pass papers.